bring on my microphone. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sarah's Fair Corner. My name is Sarah. I am the host of Sarah's Fair Corner. Sarah's Fair Corner encompasses gaming, usually. <laughs> Occasionally, I like to make art and crafts. I also like to travel places when I am not poor. And additionally, as you can see, I do like to share my theories and concepts and ideas. And today, we are going to address the green screen problem. Okay, keep in mind that I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm not even sure if I permanently want to use green screen, but I'm testing it out for this video. Yes, it's not perfect. No, I don't care because I might not even do this permanently, so I don't know, right? Also, there's like bigger fish to fry, so I've got to like finish cleaning my space. Okay, fanboys, let's talk, okay? Yeah, let's talk about marvel like let, let's really talk so here i am i get recommended this video on youtube there we go i get recommended like one of these videos okay and i can't even remember which one it was might have been like she hulk act actress insane response oh no it wasn't that one i'm not going to talk about their channel because they clearly seem to be doing well for themselves and you know everyone has a right and opinion if this person was like saying things that were true i think it would be fine but like they're they're not and i'm going to show you the proof because at least one of us does our research to be fair i got recommended this by the algorithm and so i'm like great is that like actually true and I, no it's not but we're going to look at it and i'm going to give you some facts the fact that this is not true. I think it was maybe this video here. This one, the one that we are about to watch here. Hold on, let's read these comments first. Ryan did no wrong as he put the audience first. That's important and sadly Brie Larson doesn't understand fans first. Larson is just sexist. He can't roast Deadpool for being Deadpool. He has to attack him for being a male stereotype. Okay. Ryan did the right thing. Keep the feminist crap away from Deadpool. Guys, having fun. Females screeches incoherently. Guys, ignore girls. Continue have fun. Females, you're so toxic. <laughs> Guys, like, this is funny. <laughs> Marvel is not back on track. Deadpool is just an exception. Brie Larson should go away. Okay. Well, let's let's continue. I can't watch this thoroughly. Like, hold on. Film. By the way, all four of which took a massive stand against the Walt Disney Company and said it's our way or the highway. And that's exactly why you got an entertaining product by, of course, Marvel this time around in 2024. What? <laughs> okay, you you get the point. We don't we don't need to watch this. If you want to watch this, go ahead. But that that is just, you know, nonsense. Obviously, like this guy has better video quality than me like you know props to him for you know doing his work I'll, I'll give him that and you know props for him for making a really good click baity title props to him for getting you know the amount of views that he got uh i think he got over here like 1000 100,000 success blah, 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 blah. you know me in numbers and it was posted 10 hours ago so good for him like he's got a decent you know career and stuff like that i i don't have a problem with making speculation or making videos with rumors and stuff like that like i watch rumor videos all the time it's just when you're blatantly not telling the truth and he's not here i'll show you okay so for example this is what i look up this is what i find when i see brie larson and ryan reynolds and it's all his videos um except for this one that bodybuilder is talking about brie larson's workout regimen but it's kind of the same thing over and over again and it kind of feels like what i think they call bread tube or not bread tube bread videos where it's like mass production but it's like lacking the the full uh protein of the meal if that makes sense uh, the guy got good editing skills and stuff like that it's just it's not true like they're there is this article, for example, that talked about the suggestion that Brie Larson was rumored to have been in Deadpool 3, but it's rumored. It even starts by saying rumored, whereas the guy who made the video, that was Mike Zero, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, so this is Mike Zero, and he doesn't state anywhere if this is true or not. He says, With Deadpool Wolverine box office getting closer to 1 million worldwide for both Marvel Studios and the Walt Disney Company, those like Brian Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and Sean Levy have been busy with Deadpool Plus tour. One major development now uh, has been more to do with Brie Larson and her role of Cap role? Okay, Ro whatever. Role Captain America getting axed from the film and the drama she has created behind the scene at both Disney and Marvel Studios for MCU. This comes at the wake of Deadpool and Wolverine cameos getting a major revision, revision for the planned extended edition of the film. So that's something he talks later in the video, which again, we're not going to like go through if you want to, you can. But he talks about how like there was a scene that was done between She-Hulk, Deadpool, and Captain Marvel. And there was like a kind of a joke where like both She-Hulk and Deadpool like 
look at the audience and then they, you know, question whether or not Captain Marvel can also break the fourth wall. And that would have been like, you know, pretty funny. But there's no proof of that. Mike Zero mentions in this video how that was a fact. And then Brie Larson is now suing or trying to convince Marvel to sue Ryan Reynolds for axing said clip in the video and for the extended version that's coming out. And it's like, where's your source? And it's so odd because like this one is claiming that it was rumored that Brie Larson would be playing Wardbird, which is, you know, a variant of Carol Denvers, which again, rumor, no proof of that. And then so I found this Reddit post because I, I was doing some digging. I'm like, how legit is this, you know? And so then this Reddit post talks about how it starts by saying rumor. And it's talking about Tatiana Miscellany reported unhappy with Ryan Reynolds' decision of editing out the cameos. So this kind of discusses what the cameo would have been like. Captain Marvel to Deadpool. You should know that I'm the strongest Avenger, not just in the universe, but in every universe. And there is also a scene where she calls Wolverine to who is this untrained puppy. Currently, Ryan Reynolds is all set for the research to the movie would begins in the first week so yeah some people were saying that like the scenes were done and then they were completely axed and there were reshoots done to like remove these entire scenes which is weird that this is like a rumor because i don't think that that would have fit at all in this movie especially because if you think about it all of the scenes that we saw didn't really call back to any MC characters that we know. Now, true, that might be just for the extended version that we haven't seen. But in terms of if you've seen the movie, there wasn't really any MCU current characters in in the movie, except for some of the characters from the TVA. But other than that, like... It doesn't exist. Reddit post that was posted a couple of hours ago. I'm just gonna move this over slightly. So we see, bro, these YouTubers, man. Someone just made a video saying Brie Larson attacked Ryan Reynolds because she's angry Deadpool did better than the Marvels. I need someone to show me the footage this happening because they straight up lie and YouTubers need to be sued. <laughs> Again, I'm not saying this. I'm just reading stuff. And then Khaled says, especially when this is easily debunked. And here we see a picture with the entire cast or like the main leads of this cast. And then we also see Brie Larson in the corner there. I don't know. It's not true. Like the, the facts don't state this anywhere. So let's actually talk about. So a good way to approach this is what can we say that is true? So most likely a good way to look to the future and see if Brie Larson is actually working with Disney or she was fired or she's suing somebody or Marvel suing someone allegedly is to look at the upcoming Avengers movie. So here is the full cast for the upcoming Doomsday Avenger movie. Obviously we have Vanessa Kirby, Robert Downey Jr., Joseph Quinn, Pedro Pascal, and Ibo Moss Bakrick. I'm, I'm very sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. So we have the confirmed Fantastic Four and Robert Downey Jr. turning as a new character, Victor Von Doom, in the upcoming Avengers Doomsday. And there's been a lot of speculation of what this movie is going to be about, but we're, this is not the point of this movie. So there is this evidence. So there's no proof that she's going to be in the movie, but I did do some more digging. Maybe somebody did an interview with her or something like that, okay? Guess what I found? I found this article that was written, okay? Four days ago, Brie Larson addresses MCU return for new Avengers movie. There's things I know, but I can't tell you. If she was having bad blood, she wouldn't be in, she wouldn't be in the know. Marvel Studios would not be down. Brie Larson addresses the possible return to the cinematic universe for the new Avengers movie. Um, and she says, there's things I know, but I can't tell you. Asked about her future in the MSU MCU, Larson opened up whether or not the star of the Marvels re re would, might reunite for following project. I just loved being with those ladies so much. And I think that that sentiment is so right to me. And there's much more where my life, in my life, which is there's no one superhero that can save us. She continues, it takes all kinds of people to have their own special skills and ability to understand the brink of disaster cannot be stopped by one. It's all of us coming together. So that feels really right to me. And you know, as for the future, there's things that I know, but I can't tell you. She's saying like, maybe my time is coming close to an end, but I also can't tell you if I know things or if I don't know things. The assumption that she's like that that she's suing anybody and then she's making a whole havoc and like Marvel and stomping her feet like you know throwing a tantrum is ridiculous. This is this is not the narrative that's actually being shown. I found this other article here. Uh, Captain Marvel star Brie Larson teases her return for the Avengers five and six 
and reacts to Robert Downey Jr.'s Doctor Doom announcement. This was bits of the article. So following Jonathan Major's hiring from the Avengers franchise, which talks about Doctor Doom, uh, with two Avengers movie lined up, many have been wondering which of the heroes will be back for phase six installments. During an appearance in the playlist of binge-worthy podcast, Larson was asked whether or not Carol Dunbar's would be making her MCU return in Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. The MCU star was tight-lipped, but teased that she might know something about Carol's next film appearance, sh- sharing the following. I can't say anything, and I can't even say that I don't know anything, because that might mean that there's something to say or not say. So I'll just say that I can't say. While Larson wasn't part of Marvel Studios' Hall H panel at San Diego Comic-Con, the podcast asked if she thought about Robert Jr.'s coming back, this time as Marvel villain Doctor Doom. Turns out that Larson had just been with Kevin Feige before the event, and the actor shared how he had talked about Marvel's Comic-Con panel before Doctor Doom announcement. I want to be clear, I was just with Kevin Feige, and it was just that same day that he was like, oh yeah, we're doing a thing. Okay. All this to say, just because somebody posts something on the internet doesn't mean it's true, okay? There are clearly, some of these posts I've shown, they are rumors. But this one that was posted today has apparently gone viral. And I think it's really important to discuss this for just a quick second. And and then I'm just going to call it a video. I understand that there are some Marvel fans out there who have been upset with the way that they feel that Marvel Universe should be going on. I mean, if you think about like the first Marvel movies that came out that weren't even in the cinematic universe, like X-Men. We think about Elektra, Daredevil. We talk about Blade. We talk about... Gosh, I'm trying to think of what other movies came out. Uh, Fantastic Four, um, one, and then Rise of the Silver Surfer, and then the reboot of the Fantastic Four. There's been a lot of movies that have been released for the Marvel Universe. And then when the Marvel Cinematic Universe started out, there was a lot of different leads and different backgrounds, but it was definitely carrying a certain type of narrative. And I think that's drawn a lot of people in, and it's done wonderful things, and those movies hold dear to my heart. But to like compare now Marvel to then is like apples and oranges. It was entirely different. If you think about early Marvel, they didn't have as much money as they have now. And people can have fair reasons of why they don't like Marvel right now. And that's okay. Maybe it just means that, you know, it, it's not for you anymore. Like that's okay. Maybe you're just more of a you know, comic book reader, and that's fine. But like to make blatant lies about people's jobs. Weird. That's so weird. And it it also doesn't make any sense. Like, why are you even attacking Brie Larson and Tatiana in the first place? Like, obviously, this is more of a specific, like, lie against Brie Larson. And that's why I say it's an attack. But when I I, I said at the beginning of this video, let's talk fanboys. Like, let's actually talk for a second. I understand that maybe you're upset about something. I understand that maybe, you know, Marvel doesn't have the kind of quality that you miss. Maybe it, maybe Marvel is stumbling a bit because maybe they took on too many projects. Maybe the, maybe the pandemic kind of made it difficult to make different types of projects. Maybe um, the, the overall story narrative, they wanted to shift in a different direction. I don't know all the reasons why Marvel does this. You don't know this either because neither one of us are working in Marvel. We don't know why they're making certain choices. But to blatantly attack somebody and blatantly make up lies about a person's behavior in in terms of their career and then to stir up more anger with other people is just wild. And like if you've sat through this entire video... I don't want you in any shape, way, or form to attack this person who's making up these lies or telling these rumors, okay? Maybe maybe they are telling just rumors and maybe I haven't, maybe I missed the part where they disclaimed that it's a rumor, so I just want to clarify that. But I, I think we need to really rethink about the way that we're dealing with movies. Like, they are just movies, guys. Like... <laughs> Like they, they are, they're really important to me. I've loved Marvel since the day it started. It's, it's one of my favorite series of all time, but I don't understand this rhetoric of making up things when there's clearly evidence that states otherwise. Brie Larson is fine. There's no, ev- if, if there was evidence anywhere, okay, that Brie Larson and Ryan Reynolds had bad blood, There would be proof. Like, I'm not seeing anything here. Ryan Reynolds trolls Jamie Lee Curtis. Sorry, Ryan Reynolds. Brie Brie Larson did it first, and she did it better. Twice. We have, of course, the guy we're talking about. But we don't have any other thing else. I had the source that I looked up. That was from three months ago. Um, There is a TikTok talking about it, which TikTok, in this case, there is no source here except for TikTok and except for YouTube. And you need at least a couple more sources to back this. Real reason fans are convinced Ryan Reynolds, whatever. There is no evidence. There's no evidence. There is this one I looked up prior from Bleeding Fool. But they, they quote Mike Zero as their source. 
there's no proof of that because Mike Zero doesn't prove it. Like, Mike Zero is just making rumors. He's not stating anything that's true. It doesn't make any sense. We, listen, I'm, I'm not against this person, okay? Like, they've got their own job and it's working out for them, good for them, you know? And they're, they've got probably a team behind them, they probably have editors, they have, like, and they're getting their information from somewhere. But, like, all I'm saying is, is the information that they're saying is not true. And that is true because I have proof to show that it is not true. But it's just a big claim. And, and I'm sorry, but it, it doesn't fly. And we need to stop as a Marvel community to stop being like Star Wars fans. <laughs> I don't mean that in a rude way, but like if you think about it this way, a lot of Star Wars fans like really did horrendous things to some of the early like 90s Star Wars actors to the point where they quit their jobs, didn't even want to talk like get any career in Hollywood for years, hated jobs that they did for Star Wars just because the fan group was so awful. And it is the same thing here. Marvel is a great, great um, blessing to us fans who love Marvel. I, I don't understand the rhetoric of, of just making up things for the sake of money. I think it's okay that we have different tastes. You watching this and me watching this and even Mike Zero, we all have different tastes. We all have different ideas of what Marvel could be and what Marvel should be or used to be, whatever it is. And all of them might be very valid points because Marvel is just a franchise, a movie franchise. And hi, kitty. And that's a wonderful thing. Having Marvel on the screen is a wonderful thing. I just ask, why do we have to be so cruel to one another? Why can't we just accept the fact that our our desires of what Marvel could be is something different? And we can all like different projects. You could hate one movie and I could love that movie. Or I could love that TV show and you could hate that TV show. Or we could both agree on something. We either both love it or we both hate it or like whatever it is. But like why can't we just like listen to each other? Why do we have to like stir up drama on the internet that doesn't exist? Like that's wild. And yes, like I am talking about this and someone might consider this to be drama. I'm not trying to start a fight. Th this is an issue because it it's playing with somebody's livelihood. Like, I don't think Brie Larson feels good when she reads these things about herself. Like, I couldn't. I know I wouldn't. It's not that I wouldn't handle it, but it still doesn't mean that you're not hurt by it. Like, there's lots of things that people could say or do towards me that might affect me. Like, I won't let it, like, change the way I present myself in public or the way that I go on about my day. But it doesn't mean I didn't, it didn't hurt my feelings. Like, we're all people here. I don't understand how this much disconnection between you and a celebrity makes you feel good about lying about it. That's unnecessary. I just, I think that we as a Marvel community need to come together more and be a little bit more open to each other's differences. I don't understand how lying about Brie Larson making a big fuss about this is really helping anybody. Like, the title of this video alone... Brie Larson attacks Ryan Reynolds after Deadpool and Wolverine box hit hits record high for Marvel. She attacks Ryan Reynolds. That is a big claim. A woman who has a full-time job, and this is her co-worker, and you're claiming that she's attacking her co-worker. There's no proof of that. If there was, it would have been talked about online, but there's none, except for rumors. I think we just need to think about this a little bit more. Like, it's okay. Like, that you made a mistake. Maybe your source isn't good, but I, I don't think it's wise to be posting this online. I don't think it's healthy to continue to lie like this. And obviously, I don't want to get in trouble with anyone. I don't got any money. So, like, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go in any legal issues. So, like, all of this is kind of like, uh, you know, like, we good. Like, we don't, we don't need to do this, you know? But... I just really want to mention this because, like, I am a Marvel fan. I, I have been a Marvel fan since I was a teenager. I loved all of the Marvel movies came out, even when they were awful. I was still in love, except for one that I still haven't watched, which I might watch for content because fun. But <sighs> I, I'm dumbfounded. I don't even know how to end this video because I'm so dumbfounded. But I really want to hear everybody's thoughts in the comments. What you think about this video. And it's okay if we disagree. And it's okay that maybe you feel otherwise than me. But know that I will not agree if you think this is fact. Because this isn't fact. 
can we just find middle ground? Like, can any of us Marvel fans find middle ground? We all loved Endgame. You know what I mean? Like, did anybody not like Endgame? Because that was great. But somehow it's become like this divisive behavior if you liked anything after Endgame or not. Like, it's okay if we did or didn't. Like, it's fine. Just like stop trying to make it your entire personality because like that's weird. I would really like to hear what everybody thinks about this. Obviously, my content is not normally con commentary channel, but like somehow I've put out some commentary content recently. To be fair, I do have a playlist called Sarah Spare Considerations and this kind of fits in there. Please know that I don't want any rude behavior towards Mike Zero. That That's silly. There's none of that. It's not necessary. The entirety of this video is not to attack him the way he's saying that Brie Larson attacked Ryan to make aware like make us all aware of this situation and I think just to talk a little bit more about the way that we're consuming media online and thinking a little bit harder about this like how true is this how, how much does this hold up is this just something that is a rumor that's not claimed as a rumor perhaps the disclaimer is just really quiet how much do we actually know? And then I think we also need to consider how much this is affecting somebody's livelihood because I don't doubt that this is probably affecting Brie in a different way. Like she has been treated with a little bit of disrespect in terms of her career. And it's okay if you think she's a, not a great actress and whatever reason it is, but to be cruel, that's unnecessary. Brie Larson attacks Ryan Reynolds. You could have titled that differently. Obviously that was clickbaity. Even the, the thumbnail was clickbaity. But the thing that you say in the video is even more clickbaity because it's a rumor. There's no truth in that. Or at least there's no absolute proof that there's no truth in that. I think that's what I'm kind of getting at is it's like, what, why would we talk about another person this way? Like if you were, if you met Brie Larson in real life, would you speak to her that way? But anyways, I'm going to hear your thoughts and let's talk about this a little bit further in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. My name is Sarah. I'm the host of Sarah's Spare Corner and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.